Welcome back to the R Rated Podcast. The R Rated Podcast. This week's guest is. Welcome back to the R Rated Podcast. Today's guest is Imani Nathaniel, and we're going to talk about acting. <laughs> so, before we get started, where are you from? Um. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. And we're like unplanned matching. We're Love that. We, we just, yeah, exactly. I, I just get Leo energy from you, but you're not a Leo, right? Mm -mm. I just, just mm -mm. get it though. But fire sign. Ah, mm -hmm. there we go. There we go. Okay, so Sorry. tell me, where are you from? Are you from LA or did you move here? Well, um, I'm from Jersey. Okay. I'm from okay. Jersey, East Coast. You okay. Know, okay. Saying. Okay. Rep East Coast, but I love, love it. LA. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I would say North Jersey, not South Jersey. Okay. Okay. Um, thirty minutes mm -hmm. from New York. So, did you would you go to New York a lot and like hang out? Is that mm -hmm. like common to do when like you live in Jersey? Very common, especially yeah. because like. We have like a train station, and yeah, the train just station hop on. goes right there. You know, takes what I mean? you right takes to like you to the city. And yeah, you can go to New York City just from right. like Newark or whatever. Okay, and so when did you know you wanted to start acting? Like, did you know when you were younger? Like, did it come later? Like, what was the acting scene like in in New Jersey? <laughs> so I always say when I was eleven. Yeah. Oh, like, I like that age. Yeah. But when my my parents tell me stories like it was when I was younger. I was even yeah, like, doing stuff. Yeah, you knew so it. Yeah, I don't even know, but I'll say eleven. Yeah, like, I just remember watching Disney Channel mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like movies and just being yeah. like, "I can do that." Yeah, like I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah, I literally felt the same exact mm -hmm. thing at that same age because I feel like like Disney Channel was making great shows during that time. There's like yeah. Hannah Montana, Wizards of Waver Waverly Place, Sweet Sunny Life on Deck, Sunny with a Chance. That show, I literally, it was Sunny just like. It was just like so like oh I want to be in that scene like the Holly like just like experiencing like living in a hotel or like it just seemed fun like being a yeah. wizard and like going through high school like who doesn't want to be in those scenarios you know what I mean that's, <laughs> so that's I get a Raven it. oh my, oh my god that's a Raven duh how can I forget living life with Derek but like, there's so many. yeah so, yeah so, 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 so yeah. Favorite. Spy Kids definitely was like the that's my movie when literally I was my younger. one of my favorite movies. I'm yes, not even joking. Yes. I was like, okay, I can be Carmen. Like, yeah. you know what? I, I can be Carmen. Yes. And I just remember like my dad had I a workout her. gear, mm -hmm. and um, you know, like how they like would like swing from <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I me and my sister, we had bunk beds. <laughs> we tried I, it. But, yeah, I like put it. I think it was like the waistband. The waistband. Seat, and I use it. And I like I remember pretending like I was swinging and the gum in the scene. Like, yes. I would, like, yes. 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 Like, <laughs> I would reenact some of the scenes like in movies like that. The movies that I loved, I'd be like, okay, mm -hmm. like, let me reenact it while it's happening. Like, yes. that was like when I thought I wanted to also be an actress because I was like recreating the scene because I wanted to be like that character. I wanted to like live their life. I was like, it's so cool, you know? Mm -hmm. But now that I'm like older, I'm like, I want to make that. You know what I mean? I'm like, I want to create it. But I'm still like so fascinated with like the people who can act and be those characters. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm like, I don't know if I have that like – spiciness or that little spark of like being fun you know like something no, about those actors they're just so good you can have <laughs> they're it. so unique you can, have it. you can have it if you work towards it you can have it. that's true i do there i do it. agree with that if you work towards it you can have it mm -hmm. so tell me like when did it hit you when you were like okay i want to like take acting classes like when did you start like doing like doing something about it to really get there you know that's the whole process. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a difference between when I actually like got there and woke yeah. up and got to this place. Woke up, yeah, yeah. And when I wanted to do acting class. Right, okay. I I remember begging my parents to go to acting classes. And okay. they'd be like, Imani, but why aren't you going to theater in your school? Mm. And they were completely right. But me, I'm like kind of shy right? yeah yeah really yeah, i am i am okay I am. okay I love, i'm like very low yeah, PM to yeah. myself but like if it's one-on-one -on -one, right i'm good right but if it's like a whole group of people best believe i'm not gonna you're like, not gonna be like hey everybody look at 
Okay, and okay, I'm got gonna, it. Like, no, that's back. interesting. Okay. And, you know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just I just felt so like shy, so I didn't go after that. And I was right. like, I don't wanna I don't know, I don't know. And then like it's like what if I'm not good? Just fear. Right, right. So I wanted to go somewhere else where somebody didn't know. The, me. Yeah, where you don't know any <laughs> yeah. honestly though, but I kinda understand that. Like I kinda get it too. Like especially when those people are not really like that close to you or like it's kind of awkward or like especially when you're shy it's 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 intimidating to like Mm -hmm. step up in front of someone and like sing or like have to like yeah do a monologue or something like I remember having to do drama in middle school and our teacher was gonna like do a play or no it was a musical and she was like everyone's gonna have to sing and like audition for the class like everyone is gonna do it so, like, it wasn't like, oh, if you want to, you know, if you want to be in the play, you cannot. It was like everyone in the class mm-hmm. is going to sing because we were in her drama class. So we had a, like, it was like basically auditioning for the musical, even though none of us really wanted to. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was interested in being in the musical, but I wasn't, like, trying to be the leader or anything. So I was mm-hmm. like, why are we, like, why do we all have to sing? And I remember doing – um the Annie song tomorrow. Mm. And I was so scared. So I was so, so f-ing scared, dude. I was like, this is the most embarrassing thing of my life. I was probably, I think I was in like sixth grade. I was like, why is this happening? But I did it. And like, I honestly, I didn't even look at it. I looked just like straight to the back of the room and like, just went like blind. I was like, I'm not gonna look at anyone. <laughs> Like, it was, like, blurry. I was just, like, saying, I was, like, I'm not going to look at anyone. So, I'm, like, I get the fear. I'm, like, I hated that. I hated that feeling, though, of, like, that nervousness of, like, they're going to all, like, judge me. And I'm, like, I know I'm not a good singer. And I knew that back then, too. But I love to sing because it was just, like, fun. But, like, I'm, like, I know it's not, like, serious, right? (laughs) Girl, let me find out. No. Let me find out. No. Okay. So, you were, like, I want to go somewhere else. Um, and they're like, yeah, I was like, uh, I want to go somewhere else. Yeah. And they were like, fine after a while. So they, okay. So, so they, were they supportive? They were supportive, but they were always kind of like questioning if I really wanted to do like it. Like if you were going to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they were always kind of like, cause my, my parents, they're more of like action. Mm-hmm. You, you mm-hmm. don't talk the talk, you walk the walk. Right. You know? Right. I get it. Okay. So if I'm not like, they were always stepped because you know again like yeah. school so yeah. they finally like decided i can go to class yeah it was like a 30 to 45 minute drive away from no way well, house, okay so they committed they're like they committed you want to do this which is i think that's like being a good parent you know you're like i mean we're also lucky to have that like support you know mm-hmm. obviously not everyone has For that sure. support but it just shows when you do have it like what you can do and accomplish you know mm-hmm. what i mean like i feel like you feel more like confident in yourself like okay like i might i might be able to do this you know yeah. cuz i feel like if you if your parents aren't like in your corner it's kind of hard i feel like you would doubt yourself you'd be like damn my own parents don't think i can necessarily do it right right and look okay if my parents ever see this i'm not saying <laughs> that you can like, oh, support me <laughs> but there were times i was like do you guys believe? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yes, they did. I feel totally blessed mm-hmm. and just grateful for the parents that I have because, yeah, they did, mm-hmm. you know, sacrifice a lot for right. me. And they decided to take me to acting classes. I went to acting camps. Oh, wow. I went fun. to this, like, That's college. So yeah, for a summer. It was, yeah. like, a two-week, like, thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, for those two weeks, we were practicing, like, a play um, but it was basically like a scene. So yeah, I had a yeah, scene yeah. With the girl yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. We had like a a showcase. Yeah. At the end. Yeah. And like we all performed and stuff. And I remember, <laughs> um, I never forgot this. I remember uh we performed yeah. and my mom told me she's like, Yeah, you know, it was great. <laughs> and then she was like, you know, I just wanna let you know yeah. that there was this woman that came up to me. Yeah. And she said, Tell Imani to never stop acting. And I was like, <laughs> it it only takes one person though to like mm-hmm. you know feel that fire. I never forgot that, and I was like, you know what? Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. yeah, like I yeah. know this is this is for me. But you know, then yeah. Yeah. college came, and then doubt. And- so in high school, you wait. So what age were you when you were taking these classes? So it was middle school, mostly middle school, and okay. then high school. You kind of like. 
high stepped away from I it. Stepped away. High school, I was um, basically a part of my high school's TV show. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I was um, an on location reporter. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and I knew I was just doing that because yeah. it was the closest thing to acting. Right. But like, I kind of lost my way, mm, which it happens. Yeah, I kind of lost my way. I was like, you know, it, I know that this is, so, and even through that time, I mm-hmm. knew that that was what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. But I just wasn't sure of myself. Right, right. So you just need that extra like push, right? Yeah, from yourself. So, you know, exactly, exactly. And that didn't come. Until- <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight. You yeah. know, <laughs> like, like I feel like that's like the number one thing I've been learning is like things like this don't happen overnight. Like hard work even doesn't like you don't see the progress right away like i felt like i feel like it honestly minimum takes like at least like six months (laughs) yeah like it's like depending on what you do but like you you know like you could be really working at it every day and you're just like i don't see any progress like nothing has changed but then like you know a couple months pass and you're like often things are changing like Mm -hmm. overnight which is it's crazy how things work honestly like Mm -hmm. it trips me out (laughs) I mean, if you put in the work, it's mm-hmm. going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's what I tell so many people. Like, I'm like, bruh, like, bruh. if you want it, go get it. Yeah. Just do it. And, mm-hmm. like, it will happen if you never give up and yeah. you have that faith. And, and people can say that's corny, that's cliche. But, like, it's true. if you believe mm-hmm. in yourself yeah. and you have the, like, faith mm-hmm. and you put in that work, mm-hmm. It's going to happen. happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. But I feel like I've talked to so many people and what I've realized is that like people want it so fast because we live in a microwave Right, society. where things happen like now, like everything's just like now, like 30 seconds or less mm-hmm. or like instantly, you know, it's like, so that, I mean, that also kind of was the reason why I got caught up in like, why am I not seeing progress right now? You know what I mean? Like why why are things like this Mm -hmm. like even with the podcast i'm just like i don't i was like i don't understand i don't know how this is like gonna like progress in any way like i don't see it progressing but then i was like maybe it like it took me a while to realize like okay like it is but like you don't necessarily see it like Mm -hmm. right away you know what i mean i'm like yeah from like what it was when i first started like so many people like tell me about it now and like like oh I listened to this episode or like hey I, ch- I checked it out which I was like wow I never even expected that like I never even knew these people were like listening so I'm like damn this whole time I was like so clouded by like me like going being so hard on myself you know just like mm-hmm. and thinking like it needed to happen like instantly like in a month or something and I'm like yeah. realistically like nothing good comes when it's like rushed or like being like, I don't know, I feel like timed and like a time constraint. So I was like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, just, and I, and I was starting to feel like I wasn't enjoying it for a second because I was putting too You're much so pressure. so focused on the angle and I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like the shitty part. I was like, cause I started it cause I was like, I want to try something new and I had fun in the beginning and it was great. And then in the middle part, it was like starting to get not fun because I wasn't planning it correctly. Like I wasn't like I was recording every week and almost like falling behind instead of like planning ahead and being like three episodes ahead. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That way, like if something came up or if I had to work or I had to work on another project, like I could do that and not lose out on a week of podcasting. That's so it would so like consistent. it would be like mm-hmm. built up stress because I didn't know how to like control and manage that. And then like well, you're doing great. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but I'm just like, it, it. no, but I'm just like, see, it's just like, it happens with everyone. But I just like, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I just want it to be like a reminder of like, yeah, like if you work hard and you try and like really put your mind to it, you can totally do it. But like, you're not going to see it happen right away. And like, no. don't let that part discourage you. Because I feel like that's the part people get stuck on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, I feel like you just have to hear it. It's like, that's the part where like, it's really going to make it or break you, but you have to just push through a little bit longer and keep doing what you're doing and then like you'll see the payoff Mm -hmm. you'll see the reward and I feel like that's kind of what's happening with you as well so I want to hear more about it (laughs) It, 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 it's important to just one set goals for yourself but Mm -hmm. also like what you were saying Mm -hmm. when you put too much pressure on yourself Mm -hmm. I've been in that place too where I'm putting so much pressure on myself and then I'll talk to like you know mentors like my acting teacher Mm -hmm. or Mm -hmm. just people in my life and they're like like 
please stop. Hold Chill, up. please. Yeah. Like, I'm stressed. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You're you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Like there's exactly. no like we don't realize we're li- we're doing it in the moment. It. Yeah. Like and it's always like what's next, mm-hmm. right? Like for me right now, um, mm. it's not necessarily what's next, but what I struggle with is mm-hmm. just like. Am I good enough? Mm-hmm. Am I good enough? Mm-hmm. Like I need to do an, like another skill. Mm-hmm. I need to mm-hmm. learn something. Like mm-hmm. you know, I'm always just right. like. No, I feel. Like, I feel like I need to. You know. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's why this was created because I felt like, oh, just like writing and directing, like in a time when nothing was happening, like in the beginning of like COVID, you know, everything was shut down. Mm-hmm. I was like, I need to do something. I need to do something. And I was like, maybe I could do this to like keep my brain like refreshed and like you know like constantly like talking will let me remember like certain techniques or things that I'll like forget or experiences from people that you know I wouldn't usually have or something and so that was like the one great thing with this but you just kind of have to jump and go for it honestly you just have to do it at a certain point and like like um I was saying before, like I lost my way in in high school. Actually, I don't want to say I lost my yeah. way because God's timing is amazing. Yeah, because I didn't really know myself, and I knew what I wanted, but mm-hmm. I didn't really step into it. I okay. always knew what I wanted when I was yeah. eleven. Yeah, I freaking, I still have footage of it. I created a cover letter, a resume. I love it. I love it. Got like literally took a picture from a vacation that we yeah. had, like a close up of me, and printed it out. Yeah. And made that like my my cover, you know, to send yeah, out yeah, yeah, to yeah. uh I love wherever. It. And I you know, I wanted to be on Disney Channel and I yes. love Sunny with a chance. Yes. Oh, yes. I so wish I you would, I honestly wish you would have like girl gone for it and did. I, I did. But the thing is, this is what happens. Okay, let me whatever know. is yeah. whatever is for you it takes time right right it's never supposed to be overnight that's true that's true so when i was younger i was like okay like let me you know send this out to this um address and like yeah it says that this is the sunny um with a chance like at casting office address online on this website right (laughs) (laughs) i put this all together i send it out yeah i i don't know how my parents let me do this, honestly, or even how they even knew. But I sent it out, and I remember it came back because it was an invalid address. <laughs> no, but that just shows like I really wanted. I remember. Well, of looking, course, yes, yeah. yes. I even got like, <laughs> like you know, the Johnny Powers like stuff where it was like recruiting John, oh, little like John young Robert Powers. Yeah, it's like recruiting young kids. You're like yeah. you can be on Disney Channel yes. and like do the like. Da, yes. da, 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 da. You know, and I was like, oh, I want to be that. And I was like, mom, take yep. me. And I went, and then it was literally like a fashion show. Was I was so like, what? Fake. They're yeah. like walk in a catwalk and like st- like struck a pose. Like at the end, and I was like, okay. And I, and I don't know, like what that had to do with anything with Disney Channel, but that's what they made us do. And my mom's like, sweetie, like this is like not really real. And I was like, I didn't understand. And, like there was like the scammy side of entertainment. <laughs> so I was like, what do you mean this isn't real? Like I was like, they're literally saying that I can be on Disney Channel. Like I. I was like, I I believe that, we obviously. I want to be on Disney Channel. I was like, but... I want to be on Disney Channel. These people are saying they can put me on Disney yeah. Channel. Why can't I not no, be on Disney those Channel? People on Disney Channel because those kids <laughs> have talent agents that yeah. got them in the room. But see, they, you audition, don't know that. You don't know, you don't that. know that, which yeah. is so crazy. I feel like they need to just be upfront about that shit. Like, I low-key, like, when people, like, go to those... <laughs> those different like you know agents that are like more scammy or those like promotional commercial th- commercial things i just want to be like don't go it's a trick but yeah. obviously like Every it's also a business like it's a business go through it like- yeah you kind of have to go through it to really understand like okay that wasn't mm-hmm. that wasn't the right that road to take you know <laughs> I mean? that wasn't it <laughs> It's not the right way. You exactly. Gotta, you gotta know the you gotta business. figure it out. <laughs> you really gotta know the business. Yeah. I think that's one thing that um I'm like really learning and just like keeping up to date mm-hmm. is learning the the business side learning of the business because that is a big part of it what is the business, business side of acting that's interesting i mean it's like you gotta know that like if you want an agent because i'm working towards getting yeah. an agent you have to like you gotta like show that you can make money mm. basically like and not to be like 
like that, but like yeah. straight up, they yeah. gotta know that they can make money off, off of you. you. Of course, it's like which sounds savage, right? It, it sound sounds savage, like oh, you just want to. I'm just like a dollar sign to you. But think about it: <laughs> they're investing in you, right? Especially they have relationships with casting directors that like so, contacts that the like the the public doesn't have, right? Yeah, they but like they they have these connections with casting directors and if they're sending you in for mm-hmm. these auditions yeah. because they're they're supposed to be like vouching for you right. and then they're you're like not like performing to their standard then you can risk the relationship for them so they don't right. know that they can like depend, depend on, on you they're reliable yeah. you know what i mean right but how so, do you like how do they feel like oh you qualify for me to be your agent like what like what like what do you have to like what steps? Like do they honestly like is it your acting skills? Like I'm sure that has something to do with it, but like what else? Like if they're not gonna just take anybody. You well, know? luckily, I mean I'm not an agent and you know, I've listened to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but like, like I'm I'm really YouTube curious. Videos. Yeah. And I mean I had um Yesterday, I was on a Zoom call because I yeah. took an on-camera acting class. Oh, okay. I did, yeah, I've been hearing people do, do that yeah. a lot. Like, that's, like, the new thing, right? Mm-hmm. Zoom acting class. I well, think that's it's fun. it's in person. It's an oh. in-person on-camera class. They have, like, a built-in studio with, like, a whole, like, real set. And every week, they shoot scenes. So, like, oh, okay. I have footage for, like, my reel. And then I also that's amazing. do um, a class that, like, focuses more on, like, stage and, like, okay. the heart and okay. the soul of acting. Oh, fun. But, um, I love that. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you lost your chance. It's all good. Oh, agents. Yes, agents. Oh, like, how do you know, yeah. like, that you qualify for them? Because, like, are th- I'm sure they're looking at, like, multiple things. Like, your acting skills. Like, are you, like, coachable? Like, you know, like, do you take direction well? Yeah. Like, maybe. I don't know. Like, yeah. is that, like, part of it? Or, like, from what it, your experience, like, what have you gone so I've been reading this book, Ask an Agent, and I've learned like a lot about it. It's basically an agent and she explains like her side of like why she would book somebody mm-hmm. in like an agent's process. Mm-hmm. But um I learned that it's more than just talent. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. And like you really, really have to put in the work. Like you, as in and, and it's like if you want at least in my opinion, like a good agent, like yeah. you need to put in the work yeah, and you need to have like the proper training mm-hmm. and you need to have some experience mm-hmm. under your belt okay. so that they can feel like they can invest in you. Right. So your reel is like when you're going to present your reel to like the agent and if they like what they see and like they can see you can be different characters and portray different emotions and they're like, you know, she's, she's sellable. <laughs> like yeah. it's crazy as it sounds. Like, she's going to make us money. Yeah. And then they pick you and then submit you to clients that they believe you fit? Is yeah, that- they submit you to, like, breakdowns. So okay. It's called, like, through, like, Actors Access or whatever yeah. else that they use. Mm-hmm. Or through, like, personal relationships. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I see that you're um, casting mm-hmm. for this. Mm-hmm. I have an actress that I think would be great for this role. Yeah. But, like, the thing about it is that, I'm learning also from like again the online Zoom that I took yesterday. There was right. an agent that was like on the um, phone call that's yeah. like really cool with my teacher. Yeah, and he was like basically talking about how he want it's it's really it comes down to like can you can you sell? Mm-hmm. It's not about like your It's like it's about being. I'm trying to like explain the, in it, the, his words the yeah. best way possible. Yeah. But he was saying he doesn't really care about train like what training that you have, whether it's a studio or a conservatory. Right. Like, okay. It's really about being able to like live in the moment, and mm-hmm. if I can believe in you or not. Got it. But like, I do feel like other agents have different tastes Takes, because the yeah. book that I um, read. The woman, she likes like training from like all these like uh, yeah, like like all these like film schools or like prestige schools or whatever. Right, interesting. Okay, so it's different, but I think the best way what I've learned overall from like just hearing different people Mm -hmm. is that 
you need to present yourself in a way that you can play like different things. Right. So they want to, should... yes. I mean, I understand that. Mm-hmm. Cause then it's like, if you can, you can only play one stereotype character, it's like, that's I can't not submit you for that. Yeah, exactly. And that like, limits both of you mm-hmm. and the agent. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, Oh, if you can play the girl next door mm-hmm. and you can play queen beam and a killer. Oh, you like, a, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could be anything okay. range. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, they also, I feel like don't want somebody who's like, doesn't really know about the business. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Like, I don't think they want somebody who's just like, yeah, I, I, I want to act like, can I do this? I mean, there's rare stories yeah. with, when that happens, but yeah. I think before you can even like want or even just get an agent, you really just need to put in that work, whether it's like yeah. submitting for student films, short films, I've yeah. done short films, yeah, I've done yeah. student films, yeah. plays. I want to get into plays. You got to be in class. Do you prefer you're... plays over films or like, what's your, like, what do you, what's your preference? So for the longest, I wanted to be in films. Okay. I was like, oh, I want to be in films. I want to yeah. be in movies. Yeah. And I, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. But through being in my class and like my class that I'm in now, it's kind of like, I feel like I put on a play every single week mm. with who, whatever scene partner I have. Yeah. Because yeah. we set up the stage. Okay. Like oh, we fun. Really, yeah. We go all that. out. Everybody that like goes all out for their scenes. Yeah. So it really feels like, Oh, like for 15 minutes, we're really in a play and depending right. on how far you take it, right. it really comes to life. Yeah, of course. Um, so just the the flexibility and the range of yeah. um being on that. stage mm-hmm. i really want to be in more plays oh okay i want to do both but like i leaned it's like equal now yeah. before it was like more movies yeah but like now it's like 50 yeah oh okay for sure that'd be so you know what like i always thought about like what it would be like directing a play i think it'd be so fun you know what i mean I like i feel like you're just so in the moment like mm-hmm. with them like breathing and like really breathing in the audience too as they watch the performance and I feel like that's like something you only get at screenings right when you like watch your film like you only get that at like the audience's like reaction you only get that if you sit sit in on a screening or like a theater if you if you get the chance to do that but like in a theater you like literally hear and watch everyone just like react to like what you're directing Mm -hmm. and I'm like wow like I can't even imagine like literally experiencing it as it's happening like that'd be so cool I'm like, that's like a different type of high that you get from like just directing a film. I'm like, wow. Like, cause you know, directing, it's like, yeah, the people who are make, helping you make the movie are there, but they're not going to be like, wow, this is so emotional. Like as the scene's going on, mm-hmm. like, cause they're probably like doing their own job, holding, yeah, they're focusing holding on the boom. <laughs> yeah. that they gotta do the exactly. Sound, like they don't have time to like react. But it's like, imagine like- if we had a live audience watching while like shooting every scene of a movie. Like, that, that would be, be so, it'd be like live TV, you know, like when they, crazy. the audience like claps, like when they used to do that and shit. Yeah. Like, I don't that, would know be, that would be possible because, like, I feel like. No, it'd be so distracting. Like, you yeah. pick up the, the noise from them, like, it'd be, it'd be like, okay, night. we're rolling. And then it's like, like someone's think talking. Of Dark Knight. Imagine that scene with Heath Ledger and then Christian mm-hmm. Bale, like, in that jail. Yeah, like, no. You know, <laughs> um, in the, um, not the jail, uh, that room in yeah. the, uh, in the jail right i know yeah yeah you're talking. and they're going back and forth and imagine if people are behind there like yeah they're like oh my god oh this my part's gosh. gonna be so intense like, it's like that would yeah it would ruin that the- is so interesting though like how it totally is like a different dynamic like in theater you don't even think twice like people watching you you like even if people talk in the audience like we're very quietly like i feel like you can just like tone it like tune it out with like music lights and like being on stage and really like immersing yourself in like the text and like your your dialogue the but yeah, yeah but like on a film set it's like shut the f- up i can hear you <laughs> like don't talk See, there's, because there's already so much going on that yeah, you have to be aware literally. of mm-hmm. so like that extraness like but at the same time what my acting teacher says yeah. you gotta relax and you gotta just like do it like mm-hmm. so what if there's people there yeah so what if stuff is going on like you need yeah. to yeah let all that go and right. show up and be yeah. present. I like that. Um, because at the end of the day, like, this is a job. Mm-hmm. And also, like, I know for me, um, 
I've been in like short films and I don't want to like look back at it and be like, I, I didn't give my all. Yeah. You know? No, that would be the worst. You're like, Oh, I half ass that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, cause yeah. you know, you know, exactly. when you're watching, like maybe someone else doesn't know. And they're like, Oh, that was so good. But it's like, you know, deep down, like, I can do yeah, I can or do like, it. I could go deeper. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like this, is I've had that too. That, yeah. That yeah. There's to see. Yeah, no, I totally get that. But, like, and how do you know when it's, like, enough, though? Because, like, you know, like, with theater, it's, like, you have to be a little bit more over-exaggerated because you have the person in the very back has to, like, hear you and stuff. But, like, on a, you know, when you shoot a film, short film or feature, it's, like, you have to obviously deliver your lines and have presence, but, like, you don't have to be, like, yelling for the guy in the back while you deliver your line. (laughs) You know what I mean? Um. What by enough? What do you mean? Like, let's say you're gonna shoot a short film. Like, how do you know, like, when you, you're giving enough energy in the in the scene? You know what I mean? Or like enough, mm-hmm. like volume or something? Like, how do you manage? Like, how do you? For me, uh, I kind of don't want to rely on how everybody else is mm-hmm. reacting because mm-hmm. they're focused on everything else and like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. other opinions mm-hmm. shouldn't like affect my, right your you perform- know, yeah exactly. totally but i feel like the best when i feel like i'm present and i'm in the mm-hmm. moment mm-hmm. like when i feel like i'm forget like when i yeah. really feel like like this is happening right now yeah i'm, I'm yeah. really like yelling at yeah. you i'm really like smacking you in the <laughs> right. face like right i'm really like calling you a liar mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. we're really here with mm-hmm. it that's when i'm like oh yeah, I feel like I feel good about this because yeah. I really like gave it my all because I was present. Right, you right. know, uh, I I just feel like I don't know. You hear different things about what acting mm-hmm. is, but to me, mm-hmm. acting for me is like really being present in the moment, mm-hmm. and that's how you're able to kind of mm. not act. Like, wow, well, like kind of not act, you, but you become like that character. Yeah, exactly. like it's just you be, deliver, like being those emotions. Right. Like you're not like it's not like oh, I'm putting on a show anymore. It's like this is I am her. Right? It's <laughs> I'm like, this character. I really <laughs> Maybe not die. in that creepy voice, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I am, I am her. Like, <laughs> I, I just like imagine myself. I would have like I would have a lot of fun being an actress, but I also would be like way too nervous because like. Nerves, the thought of everyone staring at you, nerves though. Is good. Nerves is good. But you know, like, nerves it's different with directing because, like, you have a lot of pressure on you, but it's like when it's time to shoot, everyone's focusing on the actor's performance, right? So it's like it takes off the, like, the pressure off of you. But you you had, like, a big part of, like, okay, this is what the scene's going to look like, the color, the tone, talking to the actors of, like, like what kind of emotion you want. But then, like, as soon as the scene starts, you can kind of, like, hide behind the camera and, like, let it, like, unfold, right? Yeah. There's no pressure. Like, no one's, like, being, like, oh, like, staring at you because they're watching the scene. And that's what always used to stress me out with acting. I'm, like, it's too many eyes. Like, I just, like, gravitated towards directing more because I was, like, I can still – like feel like I'm in that scene and a part of it, mm-hmm. but I'm not. <laughs> I used like to- I'm there like a ghost, mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm lurking. <laughs> I I used to feel like that. Like I used to be like, oh my gosh, like this is so good. But then when I realized like, honestly, they don't care about the actors. Think about it. Like in while you're directing, do mm-hmm. you really care about the, the actor that much? Or are you caring about everything? And the, the whole story. Everybody yeah. is so focused on what they have to do in order right. to make, to make it happen. Cause it's, it's, also like a collaboration oh 100 like percent, pres- and presentation or like a company like yeah without the coordinator yeah you can, no you, you can't cannot make a movie by your assistance yeah you can't, it can't work so like yeah. without all the people mm-hmm, in the mm-hmm. the film mm-hmm. or in the yeah in the film yeah each um I, what's the word that i want to say each uh department department yeah there we go. Department. <laughs> i was like let's see if i can get it <laughs> <laughs> thank you i've learned a lot like recently like it's all about connections and like hard hard work and those connections seeing your hard work and then them referring you honestly mm-hmm. like i was doing the standard like oh submitting on indeed submitting on indeed submit and like just rejection 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 mm-hmm. and i'm like and you also see just like 200 other 200 other people applying and then you like start to doubt yourself you know you're like F- like am i not like worthy enough of the industry like and how do you not get in your head after that but it's like I've been meeting a lot of people who've been going through the same thing and I realized like, okay, we're not alone in this. It's just like, 
unfortunately a shitty part of the process of getting in it's like having to really like it takes time mm-hmm. it takes time it having to put yourself out there is. it's like take it's uncomfortable sometimes rejection. but you have to yeah you have to be able to take rejection, rejection and put yourself in situations that you maybe wouldn't want to be in or do like you just really got to like push yourself and put yourself out there yeah it, i mean if it's worth it like there's gonna be a lot of rejection and you gotta think yeah. about it like if it it's gonna come really easy it's probably something that's not good. yeah you know yeah. what i mean you want something last you want something you want legit something, you want longevity right you know right so yeah i mean so what you were saying with the industry is cutthroat you know i feel like i haven't gone to the point to where i've seen it mm-hmm. be cutthroat mm-hmm. and i'm thankful for that mm-hmm. but i just kind of like remember like i you know i i just have like faith that everything is gonna like work out because you know i've got confirmation in certain ways like i'm a very spiritual person yeah yeah and i've got confirmation in ways that you know this is for me you know Mm -hmm. what i mean Mm -hmm. like i've prayed about this and Mm -hmm. you know like been confirmed Uh, yeah yeah yeah. so i know that like even if it takes time it's gonna happen because this passion was put in my heart for a reason mm-hmm. and it hasn't left. Like, think about it. I always say there's people that are young that say, Oh, I want to be an astronaut. And when they grow up, they're like, Oh no, I want to be. Yeah. Tech. It changes. Yeah. But this being wanting to be an actress yeah. has never left. Never changed. Even through high school, which mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to get into yeah. like, even through high school, like those times when I was like, Hey, like yeah. interviewing <laughs> and yeah. people in high school, I was like, I want to act. And mm-hmm. my teacher in that class, he would be like, please be an anchor, please be an anchor. And I'd be like, no, no. I don't want to do no. that. But like, <laughs> yeah. I fully didn't want to step into acting again because I was like, you know, a little bit afraid, but, yeah. um, uh, actually in college mm-hmm. then in college what happened was i took acting classes mm-hmm. every single semester from, oh wow yeah from freshman year to senior year wow so all four years a, yeah yeah always took an acting class mm-hmm. tv whether it was tv intro to acting yeah and i always felt alive yeah. in those classes those yeah. that was the one class where i felt me like, yeah this is me this is where i excel right like i never excelled in any other class this is when like <laughs> i feel that i yeah. excel this yeah this is where i thrive this is yeah. where i feel good yeah um and i did some uh short films yeah. and stuff like yeah. that uh, it was it was great it was great because um I had my first in-person audition Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, for this student. Well, it wasn't a student film. It was a short film because it was his passion project. But he went to Temple because I went to Temple. Nice. Okay. And uh, I actually ended up getting it. I I remember like. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, you know, it was weird because this is where, like, I get it. Where like, I see interviews of, like, actors like Leo. They're just like, I have to try something different. Yeah. Because I remember I went to church. (laughs) <laughs> and after I had uh, this audition, yeah, and I was like, Shit. and it was in the um the media Annenberg building mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. of like the school. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, Ugh. I was like, okay, um, I I have all these lines and I memorized it, but like, okay, yeah, and I hear all these like people auditioning, uh-huh. like well, two people, right? But I hear them auditioning. And there's this like um screaming part where it's like, uh. The girl, what's her name? Her name is Chrissy. Chrissy. And then, like, but basically, the story is about like, I'm a a girl that like, like is shadowing this guy who roofies girls oh for my like God. months. Wow. So like, I show up to the bar that I know he's at as like a hey. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he thinks he roofied me, but, but really, like, mm-hmm. I was on to him. Yeah, yeah. And he realized all these fake IDs and that I'm not really Chrissy. Ah, so, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. That's like something I would like probably try to direct. It honestly, was so fun. It was yeah. just such a good process. But like, um. A part in in the movie, it's like he's like Chrissy, please, please, and she's like, "That's not my fucking name." <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love and it. And I remember all the girls were like, "That's not my fucking name," or like they just like I just heard like just people, not like, but yeah. not even just just in their own way. And I just right, remember. right. But there's you have to give it that extra oomph, you know? Yeah, I was yeah. Like, Shit. That like, line has to, to hit and deliver. I need to, yeah, I need yeah. To. So I remember I just got in there because I was so nervous. It was like my first in-person audition that I ever did. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, like, what they're going to say about me. Yeah, yeah. And oh they were God. all in there. <laughs> and then when we got to the part and I was like, that's not my fucking name. 
<laughs> like, yeah. I just like snap. I love it. And they I were like, like Wow, we really like that. We really like that. We really like that. <laughs> yeah, like that. that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Um, uh, when you when you when you have a good perform, oh my god, I remember that. Like when I had my sh- like short films for school and I had my auditions, and then it's like that one actress or actor like just delivers the line like, like in a in a way where it's like you had it in your mind like that when you wrote it, but they took it to the next level. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> you wanted it at like this level, but they gave it like beyond it, and it was like that mm-hmm. their little extra touch that you didn't even know that you were missing that you needed. You know, and then it's like suddenly you see them become that character, and it's like you can't unsee it. Like once you see, like okay, that's the performance. Like that's them. Like you're like I'm obsessed. Like I need to like like. I need to book them right now. Like when that happens, I'm always like, I try not to get too excited and be like, "Will you take the part right now?" But like, like if, I want you. If like, <laughs> I want you, but like, I'll call you back. <laughs> I'll call right. you in like a day. <laughs> right. It's. It. I mean, that's kind of like what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a collaboration. Yeah. Because like, um, we're working on this together. Like the director mm-hmm. is supposed to be able to be yeah. like, "Hey, like, let's try like this," mm-hmm. or, or like, mm-hmm. you you know what I mean? Like, it's a collaboration process. And as an actress, I want to be a storyteller. You yeah. Know what I mean? and yeah. Every actor, yes, has different choices. Yes. So like, somebody yes. might choose yes. to like for yes. somebody who's supposed to be like, you know, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Somebody could <laughs> do it like what are you doing? Yeah. No, there's, there's so, so many, many different right. ways to deliver. What are you doing? And I feel like there's so many, like, just like, there's so many different sads or angry. Mm-hmm. Like there's, there's like depressed. There's like some, like, there's just like different ca- categories of sadness. So it's like, how are you going to deliver? How that? are you going to portray Which ca- that? Yes. Like, maybe they're angry and it's not like, ha ha And not everyone's angriest. sad the same way. Right. It's like mm-hmm. some people could be more of like a crier. Someone's more like just silent stone cold. and keep stone cold, keep it to themselves. Like some people get angry. Yeah. Some people get aggressive. Like, you know, some people are just like over sensitive and emotional and like snap right away it's like it's just like interesting you know everyone's different so it's like how are you like it's interesting to like see the actress or actor be like i think this is the type of sadness they would be in like bring that and mm-hmm. show that because it's and like that's the actress choice mm-hmm. that makes every that's what makes everybody different because right. it's like you can get sides and read something and the next actress mm-hmm. is like mm-hmm. i see it in a totally, in a totally different way, way. Which it's always trips me out. It's yeah. your imagination. Yeah. And that's, that's why we're artists. And that's why that's you work together with people. Because it's yeah. like, there literally might be something that you didn't even think of or see. And it could be something tiny. You know, it could it doesn't even have to be this big thing. But it just, like, adds that little extra spark that you need. And you're like, holy shit, how did I not see that? But, like, just having that extra creative brain, like, giving that feedback, it's just crazy. It's like the, the missing piece. It's like, it's, yeah. you need every piece. It's like a puzzle. Yeah, together. literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really- seeing Brian Cranston in the play tomorrow. He's one of my favorite actors of Wait, all time. Wait, what? Wait, that's amazing. Yeah. I want to go see him in yeah. a play. Freaking Brian Cranston, y'all. Like, he's one of the best actors yes. in my no, opinion. Yes, the way that he's just so in tune with his body, it's amazing. Like in acting, is crazy. The way he goes from like Walter White to fucking Heisenberg. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, it's crazy. amazing. It's crazy. Amazing. The way I cannot. he developed um, mm-hmm. Walt's character is mind blowing. But the way yeah. like he can take, you know, the fly episode. Yes. How like an episode that's about killing a fly. A fly. I know. But like it's he so, made it so so deep good. and so good. Yes. and it's like there's yes, not a yes. lot of people that can do that. No. And I just appreciate him, and I'm so thankful for him. And I just love yeah. how, um, just like humble he he seems to be. Yeah, I, I, I know hope that he is. I hope but, so too. I hope um, so too. I've heard from people that have met him that he is humble, he is humble. and I just can't wait to see him in a play that tell me how it is because i'm actually really excited for you i don't even know what it's called my friend was just like yo brian cranston's in a play i was like yo bro, bro buy the tickets honestly and I, and if i, I got like, a text like you. that like brian cranston's in a play i'd be like yeah buy the tickets yeah. right now like no question like damn it i wish i was in on that like i'll have to i'll have to yeah i'll hear let about you know it. what it's yeah. called yeah I'll, maybe i can still I get can. tickets if you can if, if, it's if it's like a show that's more than just tomorrow. I don't no, know. No, it's more than tomorrow. The oh, last perfect. showing is, I think, March 13th. So I'll definitely send hey, it to you so you can see him as well. Ryan, I'm coming for you. Look, he's on my vision board. Like, he's on my vision it's board. It's like... Brian Cranston needs to be on your vision he's, board. If no, he's not he's on your so vision talented. board, go put him on there right now. He's so ridiculously talented. I'm going to put him on my vision board right now. No, <laughs> like seriously. Once this episode's over, hitting the whiteboard, 
Brian Cranston. He's going to be in one of your movies. Yeah. We're going to sit with him on the podcast. I was going to be like, right here. Brian, we watched you in a play. <laughs> no, but honestly, he seems so, we like, love you and breaking back. Yeah. That he would be willing to, like, Maybe. talk on, on the podcast. I, I, Brian, I if you're watching this, that. just come on the podcast. Because <laughs> he's talked at, like, I've watched at schools. schools. At my, at mm-hmm. our film school, um, New York Film Academy, he actually came to speak, lucky too. You. So. Lucky you. Lucky you. I just want to be around him. The energy. Love but you, thank bro. you so much for coming yeah, on. This was so fun. Me. And you're welcome anytime to come back. And I want to follow up on all the things you're working on. And we'll we'll definitely follow for up because sure. we're going to work on a film together. Yes. But she's going to act in an old yes. drama. So I'm so excited. <laughs> but thank you again so much. Thank and you. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye.